Yeah, what's up for a nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. Welcome to the Nightcap, it's your girl Carolina Sanchez, and today we're spending it out. We've got V on the clock, we've got Aji on the clock, but I'm starting off here at Heights & Co. because it's a nice place to have cocktails and some dinner because they got a whole series. So let's go check it out. Well, now I'm behind the bar because they make delicious cocktails here and the beverage director, Evan Wood, is behind a lot of the great recipes and you're actually going to make a cocktail in the glass for me. Now, what you making? So we're going to be making the Heights & Co. Gin and Tonic. Uh, that will be tonic? That's right. All uh, right, what's in it? So this is a very refreshing cocktail. We make a, a thyme and lemon infused gin here in house. Oh. And then we use a Mediterranean tonic water. So, oh, so that's it right there. It's got no label, folks. It has Ooh. real high salinity. That's what I was saying. So when you're combining the Mediterranean tonic water and the very herbaceous infused gin, you get for, you, you know, it comes together for a really refreshing cocktail. You made a lot of the recipes that are on the menu now. So what, what are some of your favorites? Uh, so this is definitely one of my favorites. I do love gin in the right setting. I would say aside from that, uh, off the new menu, one of my favorites is going to be the uh, Agua Fresca Margarita. Mm. Uh, the watermelon cooler and the salted watermelon are all great for the upcoming season. Is it ready for me to sip? It's ready. Okay, cheers. Oh. Very light, very bright, Hold meant to be up. very refreshing. <laughs> It's given that gin vibe, but not the bite that I hate about gin. Like this is the flavor of gin, but good. Right. Some gins have a much higher juniper flavor profile, a much higher herbaceous botanical flavor profile. When we're doing that infusion, that's what we're going for. We're curbing that as well with a tiny bit of sweetness and salinity out of the Mediterranean tonic water. Oh. So the combination makes for a very easy to drink, light, refreshing, patio cocktail. And y'all saw how quickly he made this. So apparently they got great food here too and a whole series. So I'm gonna go sit down right now with the owner. Thanks, Evan. My pleasure. So now we're out in the patio with the owner, Brian, and you've got Chef Thomas. You guys aren't just known for your cocktails, which the gin and tonic that Evan uh, made is great. <laughs> Thank you, it's one of my favorites. Uh, you guys also have food. We do. So we do an all day menu, seven days a week. We also do brunch on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, oh. in addition to about 40 cocktails on our menu as well. Holy but smokes. this food, a little different, something special. Okay, what's this? So this food is all from Chef Thomas. He is one of our very talented guest chefs in the dining series that we launched just recently for spring called the Ann Co. Dining Series. And this is all of his dinner menu for his night with us on April 12th. So what exactly is Ann Co.? So the Ann Co. Dining Series, it is a rotating dining series that we do here on you know Wednesdays. We have different chefs from across the city coming in. They put up their food for the night of. Our team and Evan, our beverage director, puts together cocktails to complement it for a pairing. Wow. And it's a fun night under the pergola lights in the middle of the week to have a little something fun. Oh yeah, I mean, the weather's perfect for it. All right, Chef Thomas, this is your spread, baby? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, April 12th, what are they coming in right. for? We're doing a raw Peruvian base scallop wow. with a strawberry agua chile, little strawberry salsa on top, and then some basil oil. Mm. And then we're gonna go into second course. This is a tom yum salad, a did shrimp, crispy pork belly, uh, lots of beautiful vegetables, and then did a vinaigrette with the tom yum flavors, peanuts, crispies on top, and then- Hold up, there is shrimp and pork belly oh, in here? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Delicious. And then that goes with this fermented hot sauce right there. You make yourself a little lettuce cup. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a lettuce cup, yes, not a salad, yes. even better. You know, springtime, so. And then for main course, we have our steak and potatoes. So mm, 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 mm. we chose to do a petite filet with a tamari glaze. Tamari is a gluten-free soy sauce. Wow. We brought it down with chicken stock, finished it with some butter, hashishito, spring onions, cherry tomatoes, lots of love. Yes. And then crispy <laughs> potatoes tossed in a little bit of like shallots, salt, pepper, Aleppo pepper. And then that goes with our sumac crema. Ooh. And then for Ooh. dessert, we did a buttermilk panna cotta uh, macerated strawberries, lychee, and on top is a lime and lychee granita, which is like a slushy, kind of like a raspado. The way I love lychee, I mean, the way I love everything on here, not as much as Javi with these potatoes. I'll save you some, baby girl, don't you worry. What was the thinking behind the Anco Dining so Series? So our team, you know, Evan, myself, and our crew, we really enjoy collaborating with, I know, he's so talented, it's so good. Don't mind me over here, listen to him. <laughs> so we love collaborating, whether it's food with chefs, cocktail programs with other teams, wine. We just like working with and kind of having something fun to offer a really unique experience. There's not 
really any bars that I'm aware of doing something this extensive with chefs, with a full on dinner in the middle of a bar setting. So we're kind of balancing that restaurant and bar atmosphere, but in a really fun weekday, something kind of enjoy and look forward to and just really wanted to collaborate with talented people. Yeah, and how, um, how is this an opportunity for you? Oh, I mean, this is a this great would be opportunity. Awesome. Uh, right now we're looking for a space. So um, Brian approached me, asked me if I wanted to be involved. Yeah. I looked at the space. I ate his space. food and I was like, he's got to be involved. It's too yeah. good. <laughs> so back in November, we did a menu and we had a very great turnout. He mentioned the dining series and I told him I definitely wanted to be a part of it mm -hmm. so here we are uh yeah you needed to be a part of this but yeah no. i would go into this one i gotta go into this one yeah listen shrimp and pork belly if you like spice this is like mid-level spice oh my gosh the way this is setting up for me this is great okay and you you also have cocktails that go we with do. how does that so work we're doing out? a cocktail pairing that features and complements chef thomas's food so they he sends us his food menu evan and the team kind of take a look at it they work it into the production side of things that they want to put up that complement the food. So it's really starting with the food and the dinner and complementing it with a really cool cocktail pairing, night of. I don't feel like a lot of people do cocktail pairings. There's mm -hmm. usually wine pairings. Wine, yeah. We've got a lot of wine as well, but it's kind of focused on the cocktail program going with and complementing the food program. With this wonderful So that one is going to be the cucumber. It's kind of like a mix between a summer cooler margarita and like a martini. So it's kind of a riff on a, a, a Vesper, but incorporating cucumber for the freshness and the brightness. And then kind of the freshness also coming from like Topo Chico, which this time of year starts getting warm, sitting on a patio, just refreshing. Brian, I don't mean to be rude, but I tuned you out because this is very good and I'm messy as hell. <laughs> Listen. It's good, I know. This, is, this I know. is a total vibe. Listen, April 12th, you guys have to come to Heights & Co for the and Co Dining Series. Absolutely. Chef Thomas, has, I got to dig into more of this, but what I've had so far is already phenomenal. Coming Thank up you. next, V is going to be uh, trying some hot chicken. And listen, this is hot as hell. And I'm going <laughs> to keep chowing down. And they got to help me. And, we, and I know Jake and Javi want to enjoy too, so we'll be right back. Hey, what's up, Nightcappers? It's your girl, Veronica. And we are outside where? We are at Houston TX hot chicken in North Houston, and we're gonna get a sneak peek. We got some people inside, we're gonna talk to, we're gonna make some things happen inside. So y'all come along. Hello, good Hi. evening, how are you? Y'all good. Welcome to Houston TX hot chicken. How are you doing Thank tonight? Thank you, I'm good. Thanks for having us. Thank you for coming. My name is Philip Perez. I'm the franchisee here. Oh, congratulations on opening up this new location in Thank Houston. Thank you so much. It was absolutely, I mean, the crowds have been coming in. Yeah. Uh, they've actually, you know, just been a blessing to us. Yes. We had a great first day uh, this past Sunday, but we had a grand opening on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So just a great turnout. Everybody's given us warm wishes, you know, good, great reviews on Yelp as well. So actually it's good. been really amazing. Nice. All right. So now I know you're going to show us behind and give us some details. Absolutely. We're going to show you behind the scenes, but you can't say anything, okay? All right, we, I promise. Uh -oh, Ready? All right, let's go. Hello, I'm Ramon. Hi, hi, Pleasure. Ramon. Pleasure to meet you. Veronica. I'm the customer service experience director. I make sure whenever you come into a Houston, Texas hot chicken location, you have the best time. So Definitely. what are we going to be doing? We're going to cook some food. I'm oh, excited. Minute, hold on. So you put me to work? Hold on. Just for a couple minutes. But then you get to eat. It is time to eat. It is time to feast. Verona can or Verona can't. Let's go. This right here is what your girl V made. I'll give a quick run through on everything that's on Please here. Do. And then we'll go from there. Okay. I'm um, starting with the closest, the Southwest salad. It looks great. The dressing, the cilantro, creme, and house sauce together make for a great color on top. The next one is my favorite. I told you the tender waffle meal. When you try yes. this waffle, it's the best waffle you've ever yes. had. It's by far the best. Here, we're getting real risky. I know you said you was risky. We are. So the, there, there was the, night cap. the single red pick is liftoff. That's going to be about a 600,000 Scoville heat unit. That is made with a scorpion powder blend. Now this one with three picks sticking out of it, it's just screaming danger. Danger, that, danger. That is a waiver required 2 million Scoville Carolina Reaper dry rub mixed with a few other real top-notch spices. The next one is our number one item by okay. far, the original hot chicken sandwich, the one we made together. Your coleslaw, pickles, house sauce, yes. chicken, and then on the original brioche bun. Okay, so I'm going to do some little light bites. Mm. Oh. Amazing. 
Verona can. This is good. It has a lot of spice life to it. Right. I like it. And it has a flavor. really good kick. Guys, I had an amazing time with my boy Ramon. He showed me in the kitchen. He schooled me on all the foods, the drinks. All right, guys, make sure you come to North Houston over here on Luetta and visit Houston, Texas hot chicken. Don't chicken out. Welcome back to the Nightcap. We've been rocking around Houston, so you know we had to come to the newly opened Rock House, which took over Diablo Loco. And uh, they're known for their Southern comfort cuisine. They're known for their killer cocktails, and oh, they got some live music, baby. So it's on and popping here. And don't forget that Southern smile. Okay. All right, Miss Carolina, I got your reservation here. You can follow me this way. Okay, we going to the bar. Well, I had to come behind the bar, and I'm here with my girl Hutta. You're a bartender here, and it's on and popping, but you've got something good you're making me. I do. What are you making? I'm making the Hollywood Swinging. All right, let's get to it. Okay. So what's in it? An ounce and a half of our 818 Tequila Reposado. Okay. Man, Repo is in. It, People really love it. People do not drink clear anymore. Mm -mm. Then we're gonna do two ounces of pineapple juice. Okay. We're gonna do a half ounce of our peach cooker. Nice. And we have these custom syrups. Special cocktail menu, special syrups you can only get here at Rock House, baby. So. Period. All right, so what's the vibe like in here? What are you feeling when you come to work? You know, it's very chill vibes. Mm -hmm. So it's not any of that ratchet stuff. It's really nice. And it's actually topped with Moscato. You topping it with bubbles? With bubbles. How do you speak it? My love language, baby. Oh, I know you like this. <laughs> Oh yes, bring it. Oh yeah. So we're gonna use a dehydrated pineapple, and then we're gonna get a little little mint bouquet over here. Oh, you see how soft she was with that? She didn't slap it. She was very kind. Very kind. Yeah, can't, can't, gotta be nice to the herbs. Gotta be nice to the herbs. Oh yes. Thank you, Boo. You're welcome. Let me take care of this. Ah. Well, she ain't gonna hear her review, but. Do I have, I gotta drink more, but this is very good. Sophia, come over here. I hear you got another you, drink for me. Ready for the next one? Yeah, um, am I? Am I ready for the next one? If it's as good as this, I'm gonna have to double fist, folks. It's pretty good. This one's called the Lady Singing the Blues. It's not Lady made. Singing the Blues. Lady Singing the Blues. It's not made with tequila. This one's made with a cognac. Okay. So it's an ounce of Remy, an ounce of Bacardi. Okay, so we're boozy, huh? We're boozy, we're okay. boozy. An ounce of pineapple juice. This one has a lot in it. So, Sophia, this one's you guys blue. recently opened. Oh, it's blue! It's, it's blue, blue. blue. You guys. Man, it's this perfect. Blue. So, oh, how has the uh, the crowd been so far? The crowd has been great. It's been very lively. Um, we have live music all the time, and the crowd loves it. What's that? This is our coconut syrup. Okay. The special syrup guy, he's a... Um, his name is, is he actually, undercover or something? He's not undercover. His name is actually Sean. And he's, Sean he's from great. Levels. Yes. We Levels. know. Sean. Well, we know of Sean. He's a mystery. We've yeah. never met Sean, <laughs> but we know of Sean. Sean is great. He uh, he did make um, all the recipes for all of our specialty cocktails. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Let's do it. Shake it up. Hey. Yeah. The party has it's started it's here it's at the Rock House. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> that color. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful and it's very blue. It's dehydrated. Pineapple. Are we making works of art up in here? And then you get the cherry on top. The cherry on top. <laughs> That's beautiful. All right. I mean, I'm scared to drink. It's so beautiful. I know, it's so beautiful. But I'm excited to drink it. I'm kidding. Woo! What do you think? Taste the cognac? Oh, I taste the cognac and I like the cognac. Oh, and the coconut's coming through too. Get it? It's delicious. Oh man. Okay, so they, they know how to work the bar. All right, we're, okay. we're double fisting now. I mean, yeah, we have to, right? You ready, you ready for a triple fist? A triple fist? Another one? Another one? Oh Come my on. gosh. Well, I gotta eat too, <laughs> folks. So now we're gonna be making our material girl. Ow. Like it? Yeah, I love it. I love yeah. it. I can't choose just one. I gotta drink them all. The only way I can do this is if I have some food. And apparently the menu here is delightful. So let's go check it out. All right, I had a 
dig in, baby, because three drinks is a lot, and you know I can't take that down. So I had to bring Chef Jabril over, who is the mastermind behind the menu here at Rock oh, House. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And you have a spread for me. I'm so excited. Eat up, hope you're hungry. I am. <laughs> so what what do you have laid out in front of me? Right here is just a smorgasbord of all of Southern cuisine. Mm. The best that Southern cuisine has to offer. Of course, you gotta have the fried chicken. Mm -hmm. You gotta have the collard greens with ham hocks. Yes, Okay. F the turkey, folks. I don't know so why we, we're so doing we it in turkey these days. <laughs> of course, we have our amazing smoked oxtails on Gouda grits. Our smoked Gouda mac and cheese that's mm. creamy, and I promise you that cheese pool is real. And of course, our Bayou City flatbread, shrimp, crawfish, andouille sauces, jambalaya pizza base, everything Cajun, everything Creole, everything Southern, you got it. All right, so you know? is, is this a fork and knife situation? Is this a ham? So here's the funny thing about our chicken. Our chicken is actually deboned, so we do a whole half of chicken, but it's actually deboned. The only bone that you have is would be the wing bone. So you can literally pick that sucker up and just bite into it. So that's what I should do right now. That's right? what I, I I think you should do that. All right. Well, let's do it. I don't know if the mic caught that crispiness. But damn, that's good. Oh, yeah. oh the flavor on that. Yes. It's juicy. Yes. Juicy. I just exactly. want to try a little bit of everything. So ham hog. Ham hog. See, people knock greens because they don't do it right. There you go. They don't go to the places where they do it right. <laughs> you know, growing up, you know, we used to have that cornbread, sop it up. Oh, yeah. Man, it was, it, it's, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. And so, so. Is, is that the flavor profile you're trying to, you're trying to take people back home to their southern Exactly. And if this is Rock House Southern Kitchen, you know, and don't ignore the southern kitchen at the end because that's what it is, you know. So we going to. See how tender that is? Yes. Y'all didn't see that, oh, did y'all? Wow, it just came straight off the bone, that oxtail. Yeah, nap time. Oh yeah, oh, the man, cheese pool was there. Piping hot still. That Gouda. Is that what that is? Yes, that Gouda, yeah. Stop it. Yeah, and there's another secret ingredient I can't really, you Okay, know. no, 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 you keep the secrets. You oh, gotta yeah. keep the secrets so that people keep coming. Keep guessing. Mm. Yeah. It's real. She's not lying. Mm -mm. <laughs> How do you do this? Oh, wait, hold up. Hold up, chef. You didn't talk about these desserts. What is this? Now, we have right here, we have our in-house made banana pudding. And the funny thing about this is it's actually a recipe of the owner's mother. So she came in here step by step, showed us how it's done. And you'll see once you bite into it, it's, it's delicious. I'm going to, you know, just take his word for it and dig in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're also carrying her carrot cake also, which is her recipe. She's been doing it for years and it is delicious. All right, listen, I'm about to go crazy right now on this food and <laughs> it's not gonna be attractive. So I'm gonna have to send y'all to break. Me and Chef are gonna dig in. Oh yeah. And you're gonna find your way to Rock House as soon as you can. Period, point, as Soon as possible. Story. All right, but we'll be right back with the nine caps, so you better stay right there. We're here at the Rooftop Cinema Club with the owner, Jerry Cottle. How are you doing tonight? Very good, I'm close to greatness. I'm really happy to be here, thank you. You have a very beautiful venue. Thank We've you. We've been enjoying ourselves tonight. But you know, we heard that you got your starting entertainment in a circus. Whoa. Is that true? This is true. I ran away from the circus, you actually. You ran away? Yeah, I'm an ex-clown and juggler who uh, left the big top and started on a rooftop. So how do you bring some of that flair here, like some of that circus flair here, to the events you do here at the Rooftop Cinema Club? I love it. I love to see people having a good time, smiling, going out and having fun. And that's what I did. I'm an entertainer, and this is what Rooftop is. It's more than a movie. It's a whole night out. You come here, you play games, you socialize, you get some drinks, you yeah. get some great food, and then you sit down and watch your favorite movie on the big screen as the sun sets and the stars begin to sparkle. So wow. it's magical. Here in Houston, you're actually having the first location with two screens. Right. So can you talk to us a little bit, what makes Houston so special? Like, why did you feel like you had to bring the extra screen here? So this is the world's first two screen rooftop cinema. And I'll tell you why we bought it here, it's because Houston has a piece of my heart. And I'll tell you why, when I first came over here, this was the first place we built what we see as the rooftop, like dream, on mm -hmm. a parking garage, transforming a like, a crazy underutilized space. And so when we came out, the response was amazing. People have been enjoying it for the last, since 2018. So of course now post COVID, 
and I've had the opportunity to do something bigger and better, and we had to bring it to Houston. Yeah, I mean, I love that. So we're not just doing the drive-in, we're driving up to we're the top. We're driving up to the top, and we are watching movies, classic movies on that screen, and new releases on that screen, so you can get whatever you want. With Rooftop, it's our programming. We do lot, our programming is constantly evolving. We're always doing great fun. We've got new releases. We've got the new Super Mario Brothers movie coming out at the same time as the cinema here on April wow. 5th. We're going to have loads of new releases. We do dog screenings, bring your fluffy friend, and you can bring your pet, and they can come and watch a movie. We do sing along. I don't know how your singing is, but you can come and sing along to Grease or The Greatest <laughs> Showman. So, we're, like I said, we're more than just a movie. You can come here and watch a really great film, or you can come here and get immersed in one of your favorite films. So it's a great date night, and it's a great night out with a group of friends as well. So come here, have fun, and get here early and really enjoy it. So look, you heard it here first, Houston. You want to have a good time, watch a new movie, an old movie, bring your date, bring your pet. Rooftop Cinema Club is the place to be. Shh. You guys go. I'm trying to watch the movie. I'll catch up with y'all later.